For almost a century, inventors and enthusiasts have designed and built 3D projection and cinema systems. Many early systems relied on variations of parallax barriers, implemented as huge, mechanically moving constructions. 3D projection technology available today uses glasses, multi-device setups, or mechanically moving parts within the screens. Drawbacks of these solutions include the encumberment of users, expense, size, and failure to scale to large screens. Within the last few years, compressive displays have emerged. These displays rely on the co-design of new optical configurations and efficient implementations of compressive algorithms. In this paper, we present the first compressive projection system. This system comprises a light field projector and a passive angle expanding screen. Angle expansion is a common technique in optics and has been used, for instance, in Keplerian telescopes. Our screen consists of thousands of tiny telescopes, one for each pixel in the projected image. This allows an observer to freely move within a viewing zone on the other side of the screen. Light field factorization is used to decompose a target light field into a set of time multiplexed patterns that are shown at high speed on the spatial light modulators. Here is a result captured from our prototype. Although the resolution is relatively low, parallax is visible within the field of view allowed by our light field projector constructed from commodity parts. Our prototype consists of a custom illumination path and two spatial light modulators behind a projection lens. These SLMs are imaged onto the angle expanding screen. In order to accommodate reflection mode LCOS modulators, we incorporate two polarizing beam splitter cubes and a relay lens into the optical path. We use two ST1080 SLMs capable of running at 240 Hz, enabling live viewing of the compressive light field projector. In this clip, from a 1000 frame per second camera, we verify the operation of the SLMs and the strobed illumination source. Rapid variation of the SLMs is more apparent in this number sequence. In practice, it is possible to construct a horizontal-only, angle-expanding screen using lenticular sheets. In this clip, we demonstrate such a screen, which we fabricated from back-to-back -back lenticular sheets of different focal lengths. From the viewer's side of the screen, angular information is magnified. From the projector side, the image appears horizontally minified. We use nonlinear optimization techniques to factorize target light fields into low rank representations that map directly to pixel states of the display. These algorithms are implemented on the GPU for efficient processing. Here is a typical result of the algorithm. Pairs of patterns are automatically computed and displayed on the SLMs at a high speed. The high frequency, time multiplex patterns are fused by the human visual system into a consistent representation of the 3D scene over a viewing range. Here is another result captured from the prototype screen. Our projector currently supports grayscale images only. Color images are composed by capturing each color channel separately and compositing them. Simulations predict the observed image quality well. Our solver partially compensates for aberrations of the screen, limited contrast of the SLMs, and other effects. In the paper, we evaluate the compressibility of light fields in algorithmic parameters. We also compare the factorization approach to conventional, time-sequential parallax barriers, which are significantly darker and require higher-speed SLMs. We also describe extensions to the proposed system, such as arranging multiple projectors vertically to achieve higher-rank light field decompositions, or horizontally to increase field of view. In addition to glasses-free 3D display, we show that our light field projector can achieve super-resolution and high dynamic range display of 2D images when used with a conventional diffuse screen. Our super-resolution technique allows two low-resolution modulators in conjunction with low-resolution projector optics to create a high-resolution image. We process a sequence of images taken from the Peach Open Movie Project short Big Buck Bunny for high dynamic range and super-resolution display on our prototype. The reference image on the left is generated using a single SLM in our projector. It is lower contrast and lower resolution than the imagery produced by our super-resolution algorithm. We foresee projection systems such as the one described in this paper in both homes and theaters, using cost-effective screen optics fabricated at a large scale with roll-to-roll -roll processes and electro-optics that are already commodity parts. Past research in computational display has made great strides in addressing handheld and television scale applications. With this paper, we open the door to extending these techniques to a new domain large-scale projective displays which address the drawbacks of current 3D solutions and heighten the realism of the theater experience.